Hello loves, we're meeting on our mats again, starting off in that child's pose like we always do. Toes are touching, knees are out to the side. It's the practice of our foreheads coming down to that mat, nothing else matters. We're just checking in with our bodies and mindfully moving it. We're on a date with ourselves, taking that deep inhale inside that breath out while we move. Taking in another deep inhale. And sigh that breath out loud your mouth. Let go. Start your Ujjayi breath, your victorious breath. Lock down your throat, taking that deep inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. So establishing your breath pattern. And that too is a practice. Lock down the rest of your bond as your pelvic floor, which draws your floating rib cage upwards. So your transverse abdominis is locked down like a girdle. Taking two more breaths here. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale, ignite through your palms, curl up over your toes. You know to draw your seat to your feet. Coming all the way up, inhale. Fingertips to the sky. And exhale, our palms into our heart center, closing your eyes here. Just take a moment to set your intention for your practice. Just listening to your body and honoring that. Take your palms to your forehead and seal in your practice. And then back down to your heart center. You know, make those eyes open. We're gonna draw ourselves upwards on top of those toes, taking our palms and placing them on our lower spine, drawing those elbows in as close as you can get. <clears throat> and on that next inhale, we're gonna come into your back bend. We're gonna try to keep our hips to the top and just come into your back bend. And only go as far as your body will allow. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. In your mind, they come up. Body. And exhale. We're going to come to another back bend. If that's good for you, you stay here. If you want to take it into that camel, which is a deeper back bend, just be mindful of what you're asking your body to do. On that next inhale, come back into your back bend or reach back for that camel right palm into that right heel. Again, you want your hips still at the top. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale mindfully. Slowly come back up. And exhale. On that next inhale, taking that right leg out to the side. Find your three points of contact. And we're going to exhale. Place that left palm down the side. Inhale, rise, reaching to those right fingertips. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, mind for taking that right palm onto that right thigh, reaching up through those left fingertips. And we exhale, coming into that side stretch on this side. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, mindfully coming back up, reaching to those fingertips and take your palms and your heart center, releasing that right knee back underneath your hip. And exhale. On that next inhale, take out that left leg. Find your points of contact with your feet in the mat. Exhale, we're gonna reach that right palm to the side. Reaching to those left fingertips. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. We're going to inhale, reach to those left fingertips, placing it onto that thigh, and then reach to those right, coming onto your lateral stretch on this side. Only go as far as your body will allow. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last inhale. 
and exhale. Inhale, length, lifting the palms back up to the sky. And then exhale into your heart center, releasing that left knee back underneath your hip and exhale. We're gonna inhale and then exhale, reach back to those left fingertips. Inhale back into center and then exhale, reaching to those right. Inhale back into your heart center. Exhale, reach to those left fingertips. Inhale, center. And then exhale, reach to those right. Inhale, back into center. And exhale. Inhale, take that right leg out in front of you. Knees over your ankle. Inhale. And then we exhale, reach to those left fingertips. Inhale, back. And then exhale, twist. Inhale, heart center. And then exhale, reach to those left fingertips. Inhale, center. And then exhale, twist. Inhale, center one more time. Exhale, reaching to those left fingertips. Inhale, back into your center. And then exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, releasing that right knee back underneath your hip. And we inhale, take that left leg out in front of the split. Plant the three points of contact with your feet in the mat. And we exhale, reach to those right fingertips. Inhale, back at your center. And exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Reaching to those right fingertips. Center. And twist the opposite side. One more time on the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right fingertips. Inhale to your center. And then we exhale, twist. Inhale to your heart center. And then exhale, releasing that left knee back behind you. On that next inhale, crawl out to that tabletop, come to your cow cats. I add this in every class. I love warming up our bodies and our spines. So inhale, rise into your cow. And then exhale into that cat. Three more, your breath to movement. Inhale into your cow. And exhale into that cat. And when you're done with your last two, just meeting in that tabletop. On that next inhale, let's take that right leg all the way back. And then exhale, bring that in, hooking it over that left knee and push all the way back and just flowing with your breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, draw that knee in, hook it over that left and push all the way back. One more time, inhale, rise. Exhale, bring that in, hooking it over that left knee, push back. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, let's take that right that foot up the top of your mat. Inhale, reach those fingertips. Creating that back bend. Exhale. Inhale, those palms into your heart center. And then exhale, twist from your waist, leading with that right shoulder now. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale back into your heart center. Exhale, releasing those palms onto your mat. Take that right knee back. Come back into your tabletop. On that next inhale, we're going to take out that left leg. Exhale, draw it in. Hooking that foot over that right knee and pushing back. Inhale, rise. Exhale, draw that in, hooking it over that right knee and pushing all the way back. Inhale, rise. And then exhale again, drawing that in, hooking it over that right knee and pushing all the way back. Inhale, rise, taking that left leg all the way back. And then we exhale, take that foot to the top of your mat, stack that knee over that ankle. Inhale. Having that back bend, reach to your fingertips. Exhale, one last deep inhale, and exhale, inhale, taking those palms to your heart center. And then exhale, twist from your waist, leading with that left shoulder down low. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, 
and exhale. One last deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale back in your heart center. Release those palms on your mat. Taking that left knee back, and exhale. On your next inhale, we're gonna roll up over our toes and just push back into a downward dog. Walk that dog out by bending that right knee, straight in that left, and then opposite side. And just taking one last deep inhale here. And exhale. You know, bring that downward dog to a still. And exhale. On that next inhale, take that right foot up to the top of your mat. We're gonna come to that low lunge. Dropping that left knee, untuck those toes. On that next inhale, we're gonna take that left palm on the inside of that right foot, and then exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One last breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, reach to those right fingertips, place them on the inside of that right foot, and exhale, trying to sink into your hips. Here I guide. If this is enough for you, stay right here. Maybe slide that left knee back, but always leave that right knee stacked over that ankle. You're not coming back. Stay here, or maybe coming down onto your forearms. So you're going to keep that right thigh close to that left rib cage. Find the three points of contact with that front foot in the mat, and maybe draw the crown of your head to the earth. <clears throat> we still practice because we're not moving around. That forehead comes down to that mat. We don't let our minds wander. Taking those breaths, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Taking three more breaths, inhale, and exhale. Making sure your exhales are matching your inhales, inhale, and exhale. We're taking in one last deep inhale. <clears throat> and exhale. Inhale mindfully. If you came down onto your forearms, foreheads down to your mat. Push back up into those palms. And exhale. On that next inhale, we're going to leave that left palm to our mat. Take that right palm onto that right knee. And then slowly go onto the side of that foot. And only go as far as your body will allow. Opening up your hip. Way. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Taking in one last deep inhale. And exhale. Just inhale, taking that foot back onto the three points of contact with your foot and that. Releasing that right palm into your mat. And exhale. If you slid that left leg out a little bit further, slide that back underneath, coming into your underneath your hip, that knee. And now we've taken our palms and we're going to frame that right foot. Inhale. And exhale, let's curl up over those left toes, come up off that left knee. Let's inhale, rock forward, so mindfully taking that knee over those front toes. And then we exhale back. Inhale, rocking forward, being mindful, take that knee over those front toes. And then exhale back. Three more times, just flow with your breath. Inhale, rock. Exhale back. Inhale, rock. Exhale back. One more time. Inhale, rocking forward. And then exhale, pushing back. Inhale. Coming with that low lunge. Drop that left knee and tuck those toes. Exhale, inhale. And then again, we're going to exhale, rock back. Try and get that seat to that foot. Forward fold. Your eyes is at your toes. You're trying to forward fold over that front leg. And always remember, your pose is not to look like anybody else's, it's to look like yours and feel like yours. You feel that here, you stay here. If you have full splits in your practice, mindfully try. You never know what you're capable of. Keep those palms into that mat. And slide that right leg out in front of you. Find your split pose. And you want that weight even really distributed, even if you don't come down all the way. Still maintaining that breath. Inhale, and exhale, begin with your full split, maybe fall or fold over that front leg. Inhale, and exhale. 
exhale. Inhale back up. Exhale. Mindfully come back out of your split pose. Coming back in that forward fold that we were just in. We'll all meet there. Inhale. And then exhale. And just taking two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, mindfully rock back up one of the three points of contact with that foot and that Step that knee over your ankle. Take that right palm on the inside of that right foot. And exhale. Inhale, curl up over those left toes, come up off that left knee, and push back into that down dog. Take three breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last deep inhale. And exhale. And on your next inhale, we're going to take that left foot up to the top of your mat. Coming into that low lunge. Stack that knee over that ankle. And then on that next inhale, drop down that right knee and tuck those toes. Placing that right palm on the inside of that left foot. Inhale. And then exhale, twisting your waist, taking that left palm gaze up to the sky. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One last breath, and exhale. Inhale, reach to those left fingertips. Place them on the inside of that left foot, and exhale. You feel that here, you stay right here. Maybe slide that right knee back, sinking in your hips just a little bit more, making sure that left knee didn't go with it. Maybe even coming down onto your forearm, so you're going to keep that left thigh close to your ribcage. Coming down onto that forearm, so maybe again even drawing the crown of your head, pointing it toward the earth. If you have thoughts that enter your mind, you acknowledge them and let them go. Stay with that breath. Inhale. It helps you to focus. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Taking two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. On that next inhale, mindfully pushing back up to those palms. You came down with your forearms. And exhale. On that next inhale, leaving that right palm underneath that shoulder, taking that left palm onto your left knee, and slowly taking that knee out the side, rolling on the side of your foot, and only going as far as your body will allow. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale, slowly. Coming back onto the three points of contact with that foot in that. Releasing that left palm on your mat. If you slid that right knee underneath, up, a slide the back underneath that right hip, coming into that tabletop. Curling up over those toes. We're going to frame that left foot, come up off that right knee, and we're in that low lunge. We're going to inhale, rock forward. Take that knee over your toes, mindfully, and then exhale back. Inhale, cover that low lunge, rocking forward. Take that knee over your toes, mindfully. Let me exhale, push back. One more time. Inhale, rocking forward, coming into that low lunge. Take that knee over your toes. Exhale back. Inhale, rocking into that low lunge. Dropping down that right knee and tucking those toes. And then exhale, pushing back, breathing through that left leg, roll up on that heel. Again, your eyes is at your toes and coming to that forward fold over that front leg. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Staying here or trying for your full splits if that's in your practice. So inhale, just take that right leg. You never know again what you're capable of unless you're trying. If you don't come all the way down, slide that left leg. And again, try to evenly distribute that weight in your hips. Feel that. Taking a breath here, and maybe exhale, fold, fold over that front leg. 
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Maybe rising back up. Forward fold it over that front leg. And exhale. If you're in your full splits, mindfully trying to come back out, pushing the wrist palm, sliding that right knee back under, and meeting back into that forward fold. And then exhale, forward fold with that front leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale, walk back up on the three foot top. That front foot in your mat, taking your palms on the inside. Curl up over those right toes, come up off that right knee, and kick that left leg back, fully pushing back into that down dog. Inhale that right leg up into the sky. And then exhale, twist, taking that right knee over to that left tricep. Get it up there, not in a hurry. Use those obliques. Inhale. Take that right leg up in the sky, and then exhale that knee and nose. Inhale, rise. And then exhale, take that knee up, get it up there onto that right tricep. Just hold that there, get that little workout. Maybe if you have an arm balance, you can take that left leg up. Maybe a chin scan. Inhale, take that right leg back up in the sky. And then bring it in for pigeon on the side, dropping your knees. Slide that left leg back. And again, be mindful of where your weight is. Distribute evenly between your hips. You don't want to be on one side or the other. Inhale, igniting those palms near your mat, walking them up to your torso, rolling out your spine. And then exhale, forward fold. And still not letting that mind wander. Taking those breaths, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Taking three more breaths, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale, ignite your palms, walk them back up to your torso, round out that spine. Gaze up the sky. And then exhale, gaze in the center. Planting that left palm on your mat. We're gonna inhale, try to bend that left knee, reaching around that right palm and bringing that back in. Again, not forcing anything, taking two more breaths. Inhale, and exhale. One last breath, and exhale. Inhale, release that left foot back onto your mat, curling up over those left toes, coming up off that right knee and taking that back up into the sky. Bend that knee and then draw three count of both circles with that. Oh, and around and out, don't cheat yourself. And on that third one, Take that knee up into the sky, not flipping your dog yet. It's only going as far as your body will allow. Taking in one last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, release. Coming into your wild thing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, flip that dog back over. Taking that right leg back up into the sky. And then exhale back down to your mat. And fully push back into that downward dog. Taking a breath here before we do our opposite side. Inhale. And exhale. On that next inhale, left leg up in the sky. And then exhale, twist from your waist. Get that left knee over to that right tricep. Inhale, rise. Exhale, knee and out. Inhale, rise. Exhale, get that left knee on the outside of that left tricep. Again, you can drop down, stay right there, pick up. Kick it right back up to the sky, and then bring it in for pigeon on this side. Drop it down, both knees, and make sure you're not 
sitting on that front leg. Slide that right leg back and feel that weight and distribute it evenly between your hips. Hmm. Press those palms to your mat. Walk them back up to your torso, round up your spine. And we exhale, come to that forward fold. Again, still practicing your forehead comes down to that mat, not letting that mind wander. And that alone is a practice. Taking those breaths, inhale and exhale. 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 Taking two more breaths. One last deep inhale and exhale. Inhale and nine through your palms. Walk them back up to your torso. Round up your spine. Take that gaze up to the sky. Exhale back with your center. Planting that right palm on your mat. You inhale. Bend that right foot. Try to twist from your waist. Reach back with that left palm. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last loop in you. And exhale. We inhale, release that right foot back down on your mat. Curl up over those toes. Come up off that right knee and take that left foot back in the sky. Bend that left knee and draw circles all the way around counter pose, what we just did. And again on that third one, take that knee up to the sky, not flipping your dog. Just go as far as your body will allow. Taking in one last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, flipping your dog mindfully, not throwing your body around. Come and do a wild thing, reach to those left fingertips. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, flip your dog back over. Taking that left leg back up in the sky. And then exhale. Push back into your last downward dog. Taking two breaths here, inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale. Drop down to your knees in that tabletop. Walk those palms back towards your torso. Take your feet out to that side. And then we slowly lower ourselves down to our mat. Always use your palms if you need. We inhale those knees into your chest. Feet are flexed to the sky. Make that ball of energy. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale those legs into that tabletop, palms out the side, that supine twist. And we exhale, take those knees over to your left side first, leaving that right shoulder blade into your mat. We know, close your eyes here, take your gaze over to your right. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Taking one last deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale your head, your gaze, back in your center first. Protect your spine. Then those knees come to your chest, flex to your feet. Wrap your arms around your legs. Create that ball of energy. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale, release those legs back in that tabletop, palms out the side. Your supine twist, we exhale, take those knees over to your right side, leaving that left short blade into your mouth. And then exhale, close your eyes, take your gaze over to your left. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale, head back to center. Take those knees back in your chest. Flex into your feet. Wrap your arms around your legs. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, release those legs all the way up in front of you. Palms are facing down. We're coming to a fish pose, chest opener. So roll over on your seat. Keep your palm face down. On the top part of your seat, you have those elbows in your mat. So we inhale. We're going to rise, pushing through your elbows. Roll your shoulders. 
We try to get the crown of our head to the earth, but it doesn't work. You can have it up here. It is a practice. You have your crown of your head to the earth. Maybe inhale, rising up through your legs. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. And exhale. Inhale. Releasing the fish. By releasing your palms from underneath your seat, drawing your knees back into your chest, flex through your feet. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach and lengthen, hover over your mat like a starfish. Exhale, back into your ball of energy, forehead to your knees, wrap your arms around your legs, flex through your feet. Inhale, all the way out, reach and lengthen. Exhale, ball of energy. One more time. Inhale out, reach and lengthen. Exhale, back into your ball of energy. Inhale all the way out, your palms are facing up. And then exhale, release into that mat. Shavasana. Shavasana is for your body benefits from all that movement, your mind benefits from the stillness. And in a real class, I make you hold it longer. Stay here or come to that fetal position on the opposite side. You can always stay here or meet me at the top of your mat. Take your palms into your heart center. Always bring your right leg in, followed by your left. If you cannot fly, then run. If you cannot run, then walk. If you cannot walk, then crawl. Whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. The light in me honors and recognizes the light inside of you, and I humbly appreciate you. Let me guide you in your practice. Namaste. And thank you for showing up on your mat.